morning class. Good morning. Okay, we've decided to tape a session of our open air math, and hopefully you won't hear any extra noise. We have a little one in the background, but uh, she has to be here. So, we're, but we're still going to do this. We just wanted to share um, our open air math session with you. Open air math is basically where they are not allowed to use any paper or pencil. They just have to think about what's being asked and give an answer. Okay, so the answers may not come like right away because they're calculating in their brain. And today we're going to do it in the form of math story problems. And the reason we like to use math story problems here is because not only are they working out a math problem, okay, but they're writing as well. So that will be the assignment of today after we're done with the open air math as they have to write out their own examples of math story problems based on their grade level. Now their questions as well will be based on their grade levels. So when you're dealing with the younger ones, of course they're going to have math that is, uh, we don't really deal with grade levels around here, I'm just trying to give you an idea. We deal with, or we do it more according to skill level, okay? And you, you can determine that just based on what you know that they're able to do and also um, you can use their age as a good reference. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and get started with our open air math and I'm just going to be asking random questions of each of them and give them an opportunity to provide their answers. And I think I'll start with Hannah. Hannah is 11 so We'll be, we'll be starting with her first. Um, <clears throat> Hannah, your first question is, if you go to the store and you purchase something that cost $200 and the sales tax is 6%, how much will that item cost you? $212. That is correct. $212 is what that item will cost you. Okay. Now we're going to go to Shimuel. Shimuel, if... If I give you 59 quarters and you give 10 of them away to Benjamin, how many quarters will you have left? Forty-nine? Yes, 49 quarters. Okay, next we'll go to Benjamin. Benjamin, if you're out in the garden and you pick 30 cherry tomatoes, but seven of them are split open or rotten, and you have to give them to the chickens, how many will you have left? 23. 23. Now see, the, here's the deal. I threw all that extra stuff in there about them being rotten and giving them to the chickens, just to add to the storyline, but also to see if you were paying attention to the numbers because the only real important issues in that particular story problem was the 30 tomatoes minus the seven. <laughs> and so yes, your answer is 23. But again, the math story problems is a great way to get you all to think and to write because the lesson for today is going to be for them to compose their own math story problems. Now, little Gracie, um, she has a little um, wooden thing with the round um, pellets on it that you move back and forth. She's the only one who's able to use something. Now, when you have younger children like that, you, it's great to let them use um, something such as this to complete their math just to get them familiarized with a whole function of math. Okay, the question, Grace, is... Oh, yeah, be quiet. 
Okay, Grace, the question is, if we have 10 bananas on the counter and you all eat four of them, how many bananas will be left? Yes, six. Okay, now we're gonna go back to Hannah. Hannah, if you go to the store and you purchase something that cost $52, how much change will you receive back if you give them a $100 bill? Yes, $48. Kalina. Okay, Shimuel, it's your turn. Okay, Shimuel, your question is going to be in two parts. If someone gives you two $1 bills, how much money did they give you? Two dollars. Okay. Now, if you wanted dimes instead of dollars, how many dimes would they have to give you? 20. 20. Correct. Okay. Benjamin, it's your turn. There are four quarters in one dollar. So, how many quarters? are in three dollars. Twelve. Can you say your answer louder please? Twelve. Okay. Good job. Now it is Hannah's turn. <clears throat> oh, it's Grace's turn. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, Grace. If I give you nine cherries and you give three of your cherries to Alia, how many will you have left? Can you say that louder, please? Six. Okay, good job. So now is it Hannah's turn? Is it your turn? Okay, Hannah. All right. And we're going to use your locks as our example. You're going to give me your answer in two parts, so pay very close attention. The first part of your, first I'll give you the, the um, question, and then you'll give me your answer in two parts. I'm going to want to know, uh, based on the percentage, I want to know how many locks it is, and then you're going to have to tell me how many locks still need to be finished, okay? So if you have 200 locks on your head and only 10% of those have been tightened, I need to know what that 10% is and how many more need to be tightened. The 10% is 20. And the percent is 7. You have to speak up, sweetheart. Ten percent is twenty, and how much more have to be tightened is one hundred and eighty. Correct. Thank you very much. And it is Shemuel's turn, the Benyamins, and we'll call this session finished, so that you all can go and compose your own. Okay. We're going to use the garden as your example. You're going to be picking kale and Swiss chard. If I tell you to get half of each and you get 25 kale, how many Swiss chard is that? You. Say that again. 25 to. That's right, correct. Aliyah. You're making it difficult for us to hear, sweetheart. Okay. You have to do your singing later. Okay, 25 is correct, because half and half, that was thrown in there to kind of throw you off a bit, but 
the clue is if you're going to get equal amounts of both, of course, <laughs> if you get 25 kale, you're going to get 25 Swiss chard. So that is correct. Okay, Benjamin, it is your turn. If you're sitting there and you look at Hannah and you're messing around and you're just blinking your eyes at her real fast and you blink a hundred times in one minute, how many times will you blink in a half a minute? Fifty. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have to throw that one because I just saw you um, blink it. Look like you were blinking your eyes and had it. But yes, your your answer is correct. Okay, so we ended that one on a somewhat of a silly note. Uh, we are now going to conclude our open air math. Oh, okay. Grace wants to do one more. Okay, we'll do Grace. We'll let Grace do one more, and then we will conclude our open air math. Okay, Gracie wants to do another one. And we'll use your Bantu knots as our example. If you have 20 Bantu knots on your head and you take down 10 of those, how many Bantu knots will you have left? I, you have to speak up louder. Can you all hear her? Barely. Okay. Can you say your? Can you give? Can you give me your answer louder? What is? How many Bantu knots will you have left? Okay. Thank you. Now we're going to go ahead and conclude this open air math session. And now the continuation of this lesson is for all of you. Except for Gracie, Mommy's going to give you something else. The continuation of this lesson is for you all to compose your own math story problems in your notebooks. Make sure that you're writing neatly so that we can understand it and that you're punctuating properly. So now you all are excused and say bye. 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 Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 See you all later. See you later. Okay, class. You're not dismissed, but um, you can go to the kitchen now. And when you're done with those, bring them to me.